Hello everyone and welcome back to Peony and Cupcake Corner. All right, so after all the changes that's going on with YouTube and after looking into it even further, I have decided to stay. So for those who supported me and continue to support me, thank you so much. And hopefully I can uh, continue to bring more videos my collection of reborn baby dolls I went to the thrift store about two days ago I found two dolls I thought they were from the 50s but I thought they were antique and I was completely wrong completely wrong so I found this one. She came in this bag. She was $4.99. I was so excited that when I got in the car, I pulled it and the sticker, the price tag came off and I looked for it in the car. I couldn't find it, but it was $4.99. She does have some scrape marks around here and I, I can wash that off. And this is, and I never seen these type of dolls before. I really haven't. It was the first time I thought she was cute, so I bought her. And in the bag, I didn't notice she has this blonde ponytail with this bow. And this has Velcro, so I'm not sure how to put this bow on her with the Velcro. I have to. I have to play with her to see how that works but she does have some black marks um, behind her head and what does that say it's um says QP and I cannot make what it says down here because there's a zip tied and it's blocking the writing underneath and this looks like it's the original outfit and it says QP babies she's in great shape the fingers are a little dirty but other than that I mean this doll is in great shape and it looks like this is her original shoes look how big that is <laughs> All right, and her sock on this list. Let's take this off. Oh wow! Check that out. One big toe. All right, let's take out off the other one. Okay. So she's in great shape physically, and I'm gonna put her socks. Well, I'll put her her shoes and socks back on later. And I did look at the tag to see, oh, forgot about this. I don't, I forgot what that is. Um, let's take this off. I think it said 1992. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, what? I don't know if that's a cloud. I have no clue. Like I said, this is the first time I ever seen these type of dolls. All right, so let's take this off. Oh gosh, there we go. All right, yeah, she's in fabulous shape. All right, on oh, her arms. Oh wow, her arms moves. All right, here it is. Here's the tag, and this is from. 1993 and let's see what's in here oh it's a box I wonder if she cries I did not know this so okay so I have to get a screw unscrew the this and see what type of battery this doll takes because now 
I'm curious. <laughs> I'm very curious. I, I did not know this. That will be in another video because I didn't know she had a box back here. Oh, wow. This is cool. Wow. Here I am thinking this is probably from the 50s and it's a 93 doll. <laughs> but look at her ponytail. Woohoo. All right. So that's her. The other doll that I found was, I thought this was from probably, I don't know, late 40s, maybe the 50s. I was wrong again. <laughs> this one is from the year 2000 and the brand is Alexander. Again, excellent condition, no marks on this one. She's intact and it looks like this was the original dress. And look back here, no box back here, but she has she is a cloth baby she has blue eyes and you lay her down she closes her eyes that's why i wanted this doll because of her closing her eyes when she's laid down but she's in a sitting position which is permanent because that's how the cloth body was made here's the brand alexander and i don't know what those the marking is down here, these numbers, I don't know what they mean, but it says 20 C, the letter C, and 99, I think, or 77 over here. So I don't know. But anyway, she's like a hard plastic. I thought she was porcelain, but she's not. She's hard plastic, but she's such a cute baby. So these are my two finds. And I was super, super happy to find them. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye.